Hey, welcome back to the Repairables. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to uh, quickly test the battery. Now, in years past, you used to have to actually use one of those uh, one of those um, testers that heated up. You know, in fact, I do have one. I'll be right back. So here's the resistive battery tester that we used to use in years past. Now, to use this, you actually have to uh, have make sure that the battery is full of electrolyte. You have to make sure that the battery is fully charged, and you have to do it at half the CCA rating of the battery. These are typically about 130 amps. Now, the CCA rating of this particular battery right here is 625. So I would have to test this at 312, 313 uh, amps, and this doesn't have enough to do it. So you really can't effectively test a battery. Then what is this for? This is for a lawn and garden battery. That's what these were intended for. Okay, so there's a better tool. This one I did find on Amazon, and no, we're not sponsored by them at all. Uh, it is a Autool, A-U-T-O-O-L. Uh, it's a 12-volt vehicle battery system tester. Not only does it test the battery, it will also test your charging system. So with that being said, let me show you how it works. Manufacturers today are actually recommending this kind of tool, and it's called a conductance tester. Okay, now this one's especially nice because it actually has a little printer right here, so I can actually print out the results of the battery. Positive and negative. Okay, that lights up the meter because it uses the battery to power the meter. Now you don't have to have a fully charged battery, just enough to power this little meter. Okay, it says it's at 11.9 uh, volts, so it's a little low. A fully charged battery is 12.6 volts. So, what I'm going to do here is press OK. The first thing in the list is battery test. So, I'll select that, and that's OK. Okay, regular flooded battery, and that's what this is called a flooded uh, uh, battery or lead acid flooded battery. It's going to be CCA. We could go up and down and change it to uh, DIN, which would be German, um, CA, uh, BCI. Um, but we're going to stick with CCA cold cranking amps. Okay, so we're going to go to, um, see my last battery I tested was 230. This one's 500. So we're going to have to do this at 500. So we're just going to uh, hold the button here until we get up to 500. 495, 500, cold cranking amps, press OK, and it's testing the battery just like that. In a couple of seconds, it'll come back with a report. Healthy, 8%, this battery is like toast. Um, 145 cold cranking amps, it needs to be charged and retested, is what it's telling me. So it's not a healthy battery. I do need to charge it and retest, but I'm pretty certain that this battery has failed and we're gonna to have to just replace it with a new battery. So right now, that's, uh, that's the result of the battery. Thanks for watching.